Okay, so on this Alpha 1 Gen 2 uh, trim cylinder, we're going to do a reseal on it. Now to take these off, there's a spanner that goes in here and will turn it. Uh, the last guy that did it actually grabbed it with a pair of, I don't know, big vice grips or channel locks or something and unscrewed the cap. Uh, I got lucky. When I went to take it apart, it was frozen to the shaft. So when I spun the shaft, it came off with it. But um, we've cleaned it up. It goes on there nice and smooth. There's no more binding. There was a little bit of nicking, uh, which I knocked down with some fine sandpaper. And then I wire wheeled it. But uh, there's a couple of burrs in here. I hope we don't have a problem with that. If so, we're just going to get another cylinder for it. But uh, to put this thing together, I cleaned up the groove in here, which is the actual cause of the whole problem in the first place, because the, the clip had come out. Also, I had to drill and tap for the, uh, the zinc anode, uh, being very careful when it went in not to get into the groove where the... Uh, where the o-ring goes because then you're going to have to replace the whole thing anyway. So to put it back together, you've got this continuity ring, little metal clip. That allows the uh, the cap to stay grounded to the shaft when the shaft slides uh, through its stroke and will allow the anode to uh, protect it. So that just slides into the middle groove. Then you've got these two O-rings, there's a little bit of crud in here. You get a rag, wipe that out. Okay. These two O-rings go to the inside groove. The big one goes around in that outer groove. Then the scraper goes on, the washer goes on top of that, and then this internal snap ring goes in that groove that I just cleaned out with the screwdriver. And that'll hold everything all together. Just make sure that that is definitely seated in there, because if that comes out, the scraper will come out and the whole thing will come apart. Looks pretty good. And that's it for the end cap. Next we're going to show you how to do the piston. Alright, now to put the rest of this together. Uh, this is all assembled. O-rings are all in place in the grooves. Continuity ring, O-ring out here. The uh, outer seal, scraper ring. Put a little oil to lube up the O-rings. This goes on the uh, shaft. Let's give it a little twist as it goes in. Then on the end of the piston, there's a uh, little O-ring that goes on. The bolt. The bolt screws in like that. So when you take it apart, be careful you don't knock these springs. There's balls in here. The balls are what um, releases when you hit something with your drive and your drive kicks up. The pressure increases in these cylinders until the springs can't hold those balls in place anymore and it allows the oil to bypass uh, the, the piston and allows the drive to come up if you hit something really hard. And then we just torque this to 20 foot-pounds. I'll put a little lock, uh, Loctite on the threads before you put that in. And then the piston, whoop, I gotta change this O-ring right over here. And then the piston just slides back inside the, uh, the cylinder.
right in the groove. Okay, this just threads back in. I'm going to tighten it on up. Probably just grab it with a pair of channel locks since I don't have the spanner. Put the zincs back in where I uh, previously drilled and tapped it, and that's it. The cylinder is all ready to, to, uh, to go back on the boat.